Hi, let's continue uh, building our movie app. And you can see here I've got my movie object open. And I'm looking at the properties that I'm storing here. And I've got the name, the summary, the category, um, two different images at different sizes, um, the artist, and the ID. Okay, so when we get to the detail screen, which is, I guess, over here, right, what I'd like to show is I'd like to show, um, let me actually do this. There we go, right? Um, I'd like to show some of this information, maybe not all of it, right? So maybe I'll show this image, the name, the summary, the category, and the artist, but I won't show the ID, okay? Because the ID is just kind of a random string of numbers, right? Won't be interesting to people. Um, the summary could be long, it could be a long description, so it could, you know, be a paragraph, you know. Um, each one of these other items, name, category, and artist, is probably going to be a single line, okay? And then later, I'll also want to put a, a number of stars here to uh, say what I've rated my movie as, right? Okay, so, you know, really the, the best way to do this would be to, um, to design this somewhere else, Okay, right, you know, to design it in advance in Sketch or some other program and draw out exactly what we want and then, you know, look at that, look at that design very carefully and, you know, critique it and redesign it and iterate over the design. And that's a lot faster than developing directly in software. Um, but uh, for the video here, I'm just going to, I'm just going to design everything in Storyboard right here in the moment. Okay. So uh, let's let's do it. So uh, let's first of all let's look at this image here, right? So my image should be 170. I you know I'm not sure if these images are 170 by 170, if they're square or what the width is. Um, I don't remember that it said anything in the um, in the uh, the JSON file, but but I know it said height 170, right? It didn't say anything about the width. So let's let's do this. Let's select our, um, our image view. And if you notice before, um, when I tested this, the, uh, the image view was um, displaying the image and it was kind of out of proportion, right? So you know, if I go to this one, you can see it's kind of a little wider than it should be, right? Let's look at bad moms. Yeah, you can see all these guys are like, they're kind of wider than they should be. So let's fix that first. So let's take care of this image, and then the type will be easier to work with. So the images that we put in here, um, the height of this should definitely be 170, okay? So let's set the height to uh, 170. So I'll go in here. It's 170. And I'm going to make the width 170 also, even though I'm not sure that these should be square. There we go. So now the height and the width is 170. I'm going to snap it to the guides here, and we'll follow Apple's margins, right? So by snapping it to the edges, those are the margins that Apple set up. And uh, now let's fix the proportion, right? So anytime you have a, uh, an image view, the image view has a scale mode that it uses, and this determines how the image fills the image view, right? And the, um, or it's content mode here. So the content mode has these options. So it can be scale to fill, aspect fit, aspect fill, and there's a bunch of other ones. Essentially, the two here, aspect fit and aspect fill, um, are keep the, the proportions of the image correct. If we do scale fill, then the image is stretched to fit to fit this exactly. And if the image isn't a square or doesn't match the proportions of your image view, then it's out of proportion, right? If we keep the aspect of the image and it has a different aspect ratio of, of, of than the um, the image view, then aspect fit will fit the image inside here, leaving some extra space. Okay. Aspect fill, on the other hand, will um, fill the space with the image, keeping proportion, but some of the image will bleed outside of the image view. So you actually won't see it; it'll get cropped, but it'll bleed outside. So Aspect fill, we fill this entire space, but we have the potential to lose some of our image. It'll get cropped. Aspect fit, and we see the entire image, but it's potential that we have a little blank space at the top or on bottom or the sides, right? Depending on how the 
how the aspect works out. I'm going to choose aspect fit. I think that'll be a good choice here. And if not, we can always change that later. This is pretty easy to change, right? So we'll do that. And then now we'll need some, some uh, um, uh, constraints, right? So let's, let's set some constraints on the image view here. And I'll go to the pin menu. And I'll pin this to the left and top, right? And then I'll set the width and height. So that should make sure that the width and height stays the same and the image is locked to the upper left corner, okay? And then now let's put in our, our labels. So if this is going to be the movie name, right? I'll put this here. You know, maybe I'll do this. Maybe, you know, the movie names could be long. So maybe I'll, I'll make it go all the way across like that. And then I'll pin this. You know, actually, before I do that, let's make this text a little bigger. That's a little small. I think if I wanted the movie name in there, I'd, I'd want it a little bigger. So I'll do this. And you know what I did there is I did command equal. And that, you know, when I when I sized this, when I scaled it up, you know, the, the height w was not changing, right? I was changing the size of the text. But the height wasn't changing, so the image or the, the image of the t letters in here was getting cropped, right? So what I did was I used Command Equal, and that resizes the size of the label to fit the text, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap the left and the right edges to the margins again, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll pin this to the top, which will pin it to the bottom edge of the image view, and then we'll pin the left and right. And then that should be enough. If we did a command equal, the size of this will be the size of the text, and then you know um, Xcode will know that it should always be the height of the text. So we don't have to set the height. Pinning the left and the right edges will set the width, and then um, pinning it to the bottom edge of the image view will set the vertical position, right? And also pinning the left and right will set the horizontal position. So, so that should be enough in this case. So I'll pin these three edges there, and then that's enough, right? So I went to the pin menu, and I just got the three there, right? And I'll add three constraints, and that looks pretty good, right? Okay, so if the movie name is short, the text will be this size, right? If the movie name would run off the edge here, we either lose some of the text and it gets cut off, or we can set an option here. Um, they have this auto shrink option, and this means the text will shrink down in size to a point. We can set where that point is, right? So I think I'm going to choose this, and I'll say minimum font size, right? So, um, or actually, let's do minimum font scale. How about that? 5.05, right? So that means if my if my font is you know 36 or 35 points, then um, you know it can scale down. If it's if it's larger than filling this area, the computer will scale the font down to half size. So at the smallest, it'll be like you know 17 and a half points, right? So I think that's pretty good. Let's uh, let's give it a quick test, right? And I'll go to Independence Day Resurgence. And then you can see like this, the font scaled down, so it's a lot smaller than it was here. Let's go to Bad Moms. That one was pretty short. Oh, Bad Moms is pretty big. Yeah, and we can see that this is not um, a square, so there's some blank space on the sides here, right? So you can see that, you know, because this is aspect fit, so the image fit at the top and bottom, but scaling proportion left some, some space at the sides there, right? So I think that's okay. Um, Let's go to Alice Through the Looking Glass. Yeah, see that had the scale. Uh, Ghostbusters just about fits, and then we get large text, right? So I think that looks pretty good. Um, why don't we stop the video here, and then we'll add in some other information there and set constraints and stuff in the next video, okay? Thanks for watching.